Take a look at this real-time AI drawing and take a look at this AI upscaling tool. Before, AI images were created by just prompting and upscaling tools just made each pixel sharper. Now, you can customize your images a lot more and upscaling images actually creates a new improved image. Isn't that crazy? I'll show you how to turn patterns, text, logos into images you've never seen before. So I'll show you step by step exactly how to use Kriya AI today. And by the end of this video, I'll share you what is the price and if you can do it for free. Now I'm on the inside and I'm going to show you the features like real time generation, upscale and enhance AI patterns, logo illusions, and one we can't check out today, the video animate diff. So let's check the real time generation first. As you can see, I can move this around on the left side and on the right, they actually generate different images. You can also see the prompt in the bottom here as well as well as as a random prompt and a random seed. So if I click on random prompt right now, you can see salt flats in Bolivia reflecting heavens on earth. You can see an iglo village glowing with auroras colors. <laughs> that looks crazy. Another random one and a desert oasis where each dune tells tales of caravans. And I want to show you exactly what happened. So when I write in real time, so Norwegian woman with an axe in her hand standing on the top of a mountain. <laughs> I love the real time generation of this. And then what I'm going to do is customize. So I'm going to clear the canvas. So now it's completely basic. And this is the result we get. I'll click on the paintbrush. You can also place an image shapes, etc. Now let's start drawing her head, right? <laughs> it changes completely. I'll just draw a stick figure, I think, and it's changing in real time. I'll give her an ax in her hand like this, her other hand down to the right, make her head a little bigger and her legs as well. Hey, it's not that bad. I'm then going to click on either one of cinematic illustrations, bloom product. So let's try cinematic first. As you can see, this is how it looks like now illustration. Let's see how it looks like then. Hey, that's actually really cool for a book looks like this and product looks like this. Now I'm going to show you how we can get super high quality detail in just a minute, but let's keep playing around with it. Let's try to keep the prompt at zero. And then let's just try to draw something for this example. I'm going to get some of these shapes like this mountain in the back. Then I'll take this shape and draw some sort of path kind of going up to the mountain or pyramid, whatever it will make. I'll change the color to more of a path color like dark brown and the mountain color to somewhat gray. I'll go in and place an image like this Christmas hat right here. <laughs> it just turned into like a bird for a second or some sort of UFO. All right, instead, maybe let's put a Santa hat on a guy walking do a little stick man in the bottom here walking on this path, which is definitely not doing exactly what I want. But maybe if I do this, let's draw some beautiful clouds up in the sky here like this more clouds like that. I'll put a big shape here for the blue sky. Oh, just like that. It actually did something good. I'm going to move it backward just like this. And now you can see that it's getting more the exact style that we want to have. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'll duplicate the mountain and put maybe some other mountains in the background. So it gets like this perspective. There we go. And on the other side as well. Yeah, it looks like she's getting further and further away. Some more mountains. They even put the tree in there because they kind of know that's exactly what I was looking for. I want to try to draw like this monster that is really tall that is kind of guarding this mountain thing. So let's try to make something like this, maybe little claws right here. And you can see that it doesn't work It's a house now. But if I maybe prompt it, can we get it to be walking towards a mountain cave with 
a monster guarding it. That's pretty cool. To the side. Yeah, the creative prompting here is really interesting. I can't kind of get the monster to stay on the side, but I really like this image. Let's try cinematic as well and the different styles. Oh, it completely changes to like this castle. Illustration, it then changes to this crazy mountain. Bloom is now more of a super colorful, kind of like a book illustration and product. This is how it looks like, wow. And if you think the quality is a little bit too bad, I'm gonna show you how to upscale in a minute. Take a look at this video that is using an AI avatar and it got 1.7 million views. Let me show you how. Just go to studio.nero.ai. This is where you can connect and captivate with AI avatars anywhere. Just click on create free AI videos. Now that we're on the inside, you can see we have 29 high quality AI avatars. So all you need to do is to paste your text in here, or you can use the create a script for it to generate a script for you. Let's write topic, multiple streams of income and audience investors and click on generate. As you can see, it's generated two results for us and we can choose which one we want. I like number two the best. So I'm going to click on use this script. Script. I'm going to use this girl here, but before we create the video, we can actually select all of these different languages. We can select all of these different voices. Just listen now. This audio was generated with Nero AI technology. This audio was generated with Nero AI technology. Okay, let's try a man one. This audio was generated with Nero AI technology. As you can see, they're using high quality voice models in addition to actually adding emotion. So we can actually add sleepy, disgust, fear, sad, angry, happy to make it fit your script even better. You can create in both landscape and portrait. Now I'm just going to go up and click on generate video. Here's another example I generated. Having multiple income streams is crucial for investors. It helps to diversify risks and maximize earnings. And here is the Having second result. Having multiple streams of income is crucial for investors. Diversifying investments across various... <laughs> she actually seems happy. Perfect if you're making faceless YouTube videos or UGC content because people connect more with a face. So head to studio.nero.ai in the link in the description to create free AI videos. Thanks to Nero for sponsoring this section of the video. And if you think the quality is a little bit too bad, I'm going to show you how to upscale in a minute. It. Let's clear the prompt. They do have this thing called webcam where you can actually put your webcam in there. Also, they have use external program where you can actually take kind of a video from another window. So let's say I share my entire screen here. It actually pops up real time in the software. And as you can see on the right side, it actually tries to create things from this video recording or screen sharing. So you could use Photoshop or any tool that you want. For example, I'm going to use an external program. And what I'm going to do is add this tab where I'm sharing Twitter. I'll go to google.com, go to images. Let's click on one of these and you can see that it's trying to catch up. And if you scroll down a little bit, yeah, without any prompting, I think this is really hard for it, but I hope you guys can find some great useful things to do with this. For our next creation, I'm going to try to make like a windy road coming up here like this and as well as another windy road coming all the way down and maybe a little up again. Let's do some gray mountains here over here as well. Maybe fill that in, make it a blue background. And as you can see, as I'm trying to paint this mountain in real time, it's going to try to make the mountain happen in the background. Now it's a bird and now it's actually a little better. Let's go and make the grass kind of green with another shape. I'll push this one to the back as well. Hey, not bad. I'll try to make the road look a little bit better. I don't think it, uh, roads are orange. <laughs> it turns into a snake. Now here is the real kicker. Can we make a car? Let's put the wheel down, another wheel down, try to make it all look like a car, like this maybe, and fill it in, come on. You can do this. Nope. <laughs> it can't be my drawing skills. That is definitely not the limitations of the software. <laughs> It's turning to a woman on her back. Maybe if I try to trick it into making these wheels black. There you go. Now you know. No idea. Some sort of dinosaur. So for the last step, let's just prompt it car. Hey, driving away from the mountain. 
mountain. If I just say mount, it actually is better. But if I do mountain, and then I can actually if I don't like this, I can always click on random seed, it will then generate Oh, that's pretty good. I can click on random seed again. And it will continue iterating the image until you find one that you like. These are actually not that bad. Straight off the bat, dirt road, mountains, car, even this one, damn. Also, one last thing that I actually didn't tell you about is in the top right, we have AI strength. So if we just go and pump that up to 100, you can see that it's more AI. And whoa, such a different feel of the image compared to if we go all the way down. Yeah, here you can really fine tune it and really make it Whoa! I don't know. This is so much fun. What this is able to do is absolutely mind blowing, especially when we get up to the higher levels. It's almost like it's not even taking our input that much. But you know, it is it's more taking just from the prompt. Let me see what happens if I just do some big circle on the right. Yeah, not much even in the top of the mountain. Yeah, nothing changes that much. So I think the more strength, the more it actually relies on the prompt. Let's actually take the prompt away entirely and see what happens then delete these things like that. And we just invented a new animal. So you've now seen what real time drawing generation can get for you. Now it's time to step into the upscale and enhance say you got this image, right? Well, you can just click on the enhance button and it enhances it for you. You can click again and it will enhance it again one more time. And the quality is just so much better. Now if I download this, and go to the upscale and enhance, I can pull this image in select AI strength and upscaling factor, I'm actually going to keep them on default. And I need to describe my image, I can also do a negative prompt, but I'm just going to click on enhance. And here is the result. As you can see, when I'm sliding it over, it's adding so much more detail to the original image. Even if I scroll up, you can see that if I slide it to the right again, all these dots and things are disappearing. This is far superior to many of the image upscaling tools that we have now because it's not upscaling each picture, it's actually creating more pixels and more detail into the image itself. Take this for example, when you check the berries in the top, they actually just completely change into a completely crisp, clear berry that is just way easier to look at. Same goes with this when we slide it over the water turns crystal clear. And kind of the goosebumps on the lime is coming out and the juicy lime as well as the stone on the bottom here is before here is after here is before here's after. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Even the reflection and the glass is good. I want to try it on one of my thumbnails. So I'm going to upload one of those, I'll put the AI strength and upscaling factor to the max at a prompt and enhance take a look at this is the before and check the Pika icon is not looking so good over my face. And <laughs> this is the before this is the after. <laughs> I don't really know if I like it or not. But for sure it has more detail. Let's try this one. And this time I'm actually not going to have a prompt at all. I'll also put it a little bit more down and enhance. Here is the before and the hand is getting nicer. The face is also getting nicer. It doesn't look like me much, but this is the after and this is the before this is the after and this is the before I just love how the quality increases in the hair in the face and the beard like look at this hand for example, all the wrinkles just come back and it's super clear. I wonder how long until this actually is in our phones, right? There is just nothing I've seen like it. I uploaded this photo of a pool that I was in last week, no prompts and and hence here is the before photo and <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Look, this is how it was before. And this is after maybe we should do some prompting, huh? And here you can check out how the rest of it looks. We come to the girl in the pool now, which looks way worse. And then we have <laughs> what is happening? Just try to make nightmares happen. Okay, maybe don't put this into phones yet. I'll prompt it a pool with people. And now you can see <laughs> it's still nightmares. Here's the before. Here's the after. Here's the before. 
Here's the after. I mean, I'm just mega surprised how good it actually is. Even though these benches are turning into a Turkish chiropractor TikTok video. <laughs> but what about AI patterns and AI logo illusions? And stay with me to figure out if you can do all of this for free or what is the price. Let's check out AI patterns. You can see you can enter a prompt here. We're going to click on random prompt. And here you can change the pattern. So there are many different types of patterns that we can select. I I really like some of these trippy ones, like maybe this one. You can also use text. So for example, Kriya, I'm gonna show you how that works in a minute, but let's just generate. Here are two examples that are absolutely mind blowing. It kind of made them into benches and this into a roof. And now we can actually animate it. Here's how it looks like. <laughs> oh, such a cool warping effect. Okay, let's try something else. Random prompt. We're going to change the pattern into maybe something like this. They also do have advanced settings. So you can make the pattern strength a lot higher. I'm going to keep it on the default. You also have guidance scale where the higher it is, the more it will obey the prompt negative prompt, diffusion steps to make him slower, but more detailed. We'll just go standard and generate. This is supposed to be a desert oasis with some sorcery going on. To me, this is just art at a completely different level. It's able to follow this pattern. Wait, let's just try the most basic pattern like this, right? And random prompt, something about tropical jungle and generate. Jesus Christ. On the left side, it didn't really keep the pattern that well. But on the right side, it's like an underwater chess cave. All right, we need to try to use the text here. So they have Kriya as the text. I'm going to accept that. Let's put a random prompt. Generate, I just keep getting blown away. Just look at this. Are you actually kidding me? Okay, let's try this instead. I tried to say a sentence, but it actually doesn't work. Oh, maybe it does. Yep, I can actually make it smaller and I can make it wider. Add baby Yoda and generate. I'm slightly terrified. Let's click on advanced settings and let's actually make the pattern super strong. Oh my goodness. Just look at the text effect here. But what about the logo illusions? You can see you can change the logo here. They have a bunch of pre-built logos that we can use. So Let's use Nike. They also have a slider here for strength. Let's just keep it at 65 random prompt and generate. I don't have more words to describe this like wow or mind blowing or what can I say? Look at this. Let's try an Apple logo and random prompt. Yep, the Apple logo as a nature tech. One more that is a little bit more complex like the Notion logo, random prompt and generate. Yeah, you can see that it's very faint, but you can see the Notion logo. It's a little bit more detailed. So let's actually just Put it all the way up. New random prompt. Yep, you can see the pattern strength helped a lot. So what's the price? Well, currently, Kriya AI has a wait list. You can get an invite code to enter early or to get access, they actually want you to pay. We can see that Kriya free right now. You can actually get access to Kriya real time coming soon. Then 50 image generations a day, 10 video generations a day, three AI trainings after signing and up to two parallel image generations. So basically this means you can generate two at a time. When it comes to the pro plan, you can see it's $24 a month. If you go for the yearly, if you go for monthly, it's $30 a month and you'll get Kriya real time right now. Unlimited image generations, unlimited video generations, five AI trainings, eight parallel image generations, commercial license, fast generations, private images, and private AI trainings. This is the plan that I'm on. And if you like this software, I left a link in the description. I'm not affiliated with Crea AI or sponsored by Crea AI. I just like the software. Thanks so much for watching the video. And thanks so much to my patrons that allows me to check out all these AI tools. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.